Mountain photographer Dennis Lopez sent us video from Elk Grove. He says he felt the shaking and it left the water sloshing around in his backyard pool. And CBS 13 reporter Linda Muma felt it as well in Modesto. You can see the water in her pool making a few waves as well. Now, as we've been telling you, people felt this all around our region. We've been getting phone calls in the newsroom Rancho Cordova, Galt, uh, Modesto. Antica. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Old Sacramento right now with reaction from people who felt the earthquake here. Well, guys, we were in Fair Oaks tonight when this happened, and I didn't feel much, but my photographer was inside a Starbucks, and he says he started to feel lightheaded. The light started shaking, and we were way far out. We came back into the Sacramento area where a lot more people felt this. We're in Old Sacramento now, spoke with people who were having dinner here at Joe's Crab Shack, and this happened right in the middle of their meal. So we're having dinner at Joe's Crab Shack, and um, we're just sitting there, and all of a sudden the land turns, and we start. We thought, I mean, the guys out there were buzzed. They, they, they blanked a little too hard, and they, start, they thought they were buzzed, but in reality, it was a full-on earthquake, and we just see the lanterns and lights shaking, and the, eventually everyone caught on, and they're like, hey, do you guys feel that? So it, it was crazy. You know, some people were legitimately concerned about this. We just spoke with a father who was trying to stay calm for his son. We spoke with a woman selling some things on the side of the street here who said, again, her main goal as well was to just stay calm as this happened. Yeah, pretty strong quake to be felt this far away. Anna, thank you very much. Uh, you know, some people, we're, we're hearing the terms main shock, mm -hmm. foreshock, mm -hmm. aftershock. Uh, yesterday, they initially thought that that was a big quake. They weren't sure what was to come. Well, now they are saying that that was a foreshock yeah, four today to tonight's. Was the main shock. But it's all really semantics, they're telling us. It's mm -hmm. semantics, they're earthquakes, but what they're calling this is a sequence. Mm -hmm. And they say we are in the middle of a sequence, and the quakes are most likely going to last for the weeks, even months. To come. It's always, of course, a good reminder to make sure you have an emergency uh, plan for you and your family in the event of an earthquake. Absolutely right. And it, reading here on Twitter, people were reporting this uh, in Bakersfield, Vegas, Merced, San Jose, and tonight, uh, Southern California Edison is reporting 2,200 people in the Ridgecrest area and the surrounding areas do not have power because of this. Now, Governor Newsom sent out a tweet earlier saying, in response to another large earthquake in Southern California tonight, I have activated the Cal OES State Operations Center to its highest level. The state is coordinating mutual aid to local first responders. And again, according to USGS, the quake had a magnitude of 7.1. It struck in the same area where yesterday's earthquake was recorded, northeast of Ridgecrest. We'll continue to follow this throughout the hour. Now to other